welcome to Scrapping with Sherry. So I got back from Puerto Vallarta and Creative Memories was having the virtual crop and you know me, I just couldn't stand not to participate in the virtual crop. So the day after I got back, I sat down and made all the layouts real fast. Well, the thing of it is, somebody asked on the virtual crop page if I had done a YouTube for this particular layout. It's the virtual crop four for April, 2024. And I decided that, hey, I would do it. I've already done a two-page spread of it, but I'm going to use some different colors, different pictures, and I'm going to do it again for you so you can see how easy this layout actually is. So, we're using the virtual crop layout number four from April 2024. And I am using the Tropic Time Collection for this. I had um, several of the patterned papers left from it. And I'm using Aquamarine Shimmer Paper. It is from the Rainbow Shimmer package that Creative Memories is currently selling. And y'all, the colors in that pack are beautiful. Now, I would encourage you, if you're going to buy the pack, to buy two of them because there's only one sheet of each color in a package. And if you're going to use it for backgrounds or for matting, chances are you're going to need two sheets of each color. But it's just a really pale teal. It's hard to see the color on camera, but it is so pretty. And it coordinates beautifully with these Tropic Time papers. So, let's get started on the sketch and see what we can do. So, to me, probably the hardest part of the sketch was cutting these banner strips. And it tells us that these banners are 6 by 3 or 3 by 6 Same difference either way. So, let's take out our trimmer. And I'm going to use all four of these colors to cut my banners. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these at 3 inches. And I'm using four different colors just like they did. If you like the fronts and backs of them, you could flip them. That would make less waste of your paper, but I didn't really like the fronts and backs um, together. So I'm gonna go to my three inch here and cut that off. And then I'm gonna flip the arm out. And y'all, I don't know if you have an advisor that you've talked to, but on the Puerto Vallarta trip, they gave us a sneak peek of a new trimmer that's coming out. It's called the Photo Trimmer but it will cut up to an eight by 10 photo and it has a pull out arm like this. Um, the base of it is more than six inches wide, which is going to totally change the way I scrapbook because I won't have to pull out an arm on this one to use my six inch anymore. I am thrilled about it. It's gonna come out for advisors the end of July is their projected date and uh, then available to customers hopefully the end of August. So if you've ever thought about becoming an advisor, this would be a great time to do that because it's gonna give you the opportunity to get this um, product in your hands before everyone else. I would love to add you to my team. So if it's something that you've ever thought about, you might be interested in, please let me know and I'll send you the information to get you signed up before that um, July release of the new trimmer. Price point they're looking at is like $29. So I think it's really affordable and I'm excited about it. All right, so I've cut these three by six. What I'm going to do, to me, this is just about the easiest way to do these little banners, is I'm just going to fold this little end together. Now, I'm not pressing hard. I don't want a big crease all the way up. And I am doing them all at the same time, so I get the same angle on all of them. But you just cut that little triangle, and you've got your banner pieces. I'm going to do it one more time in case that was confusing to you. So I've got the banners tall. I've got these pieces tall. Just going to fold these two corners on the bottom together and then just cut from the point, and this is the open side, from the open side point into the center. And we've got all the little banners done already. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and tape those banners down and then I'll go back and add the few other details because there's just not a lot to this page, really. When you look at it, I feel like it's very impressive to look at, but not necessarily that hard. And are these and these exactly the same? Probably not, but is that a problem? No, not at all. I am gonna do the patterns the same way. So we've got some continuity. And when you see my pictures in a minute, you will know why I chose the patterns that I did. We were really excited on this trip because um, 
one of the ladies who came on the Creative Memories Puerto Vallarta trip, um, her husband is, I don't know if he's a professional photographer, semi-professional, I don't know, but he was good. He had a really good eye, and he would catch different people doing things and take pictures, and um, he just took some of the most beautiful scenery pictures and allowed us free downloads of those. So I've got some of the most gorgeous pictures of the flowers and the animals around the resort. So those pictures are going to go on this page. I wanted to make sure I used some of these pretty florals from this Tropic Time collection to really make all that stand out. Now you can see on this, something's a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna snip that off. And that bottom banner will be just a touch smaller, but you're not gonna be able to tell it. It's gonna be so little. All right, that one is finished for now. Creative Memories did put out a banner maker, which I absolutely love. The only problem with it is it only goes to two and a half inches, and these are three inches wide, so that created a little conundrum as far as how to cut these three inch wide pieces, and to me, this is the easiest way I've found to do that. Now, I'm just going to say, if you did absolutely nothing else on this page besides the banners on each side, it would be a beautiful page. Add your pictures. You could add um, three four-by-sixes across the top. You could add three sideways here and fill up this page just in a heartbeat. And you know what? That may be what I do, but I want to show you how to finish out this page in case you're wondering... So, we've got those two things done. Now, one thing I did want to go back and add, <clears throat> and you'll see it here. They've done stripes here and here and here, and then a border cartridge on this. I am going to go back and add the border cartridge design here and here. I didn't have any more stickers, didn't have any laser borders that I really liked the look of. So, I'm going to be using the mirrored scallop border maker cartridge for this. And I've pulled this orange also from the Tropic Time collection just to add a, a wide variety of colors to really make this stand out. Now, this is one of those collections that I am down to pieces and parts on a lot of it. So, I don't really have any, any pre-made borders for it, which I was kind of sad about because I know that they were beautiful. But I felt like this color combination would be really pretty. And I'll need one on this side and then one on the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this over and punch it. Something y'all don't know, but it has really been fun for me is um, I am now throwing all my scraps in my little Creative Memories pop-up trash can. I gave these away at National Scrapbook Day and now I can keep one right beside me when I'm working, and it makes it so much easier to empty all my little trash into it. If you've got a local advisor, you need to reach out to that advisor and see if they've got any of those left, because I think they are super cute and very useful, especially on little projects like this where you just need to get rid of a few scraps. All right, so we're gonna add this on like this. And I wanna look at the sketch one more time because what they've shown is this border, then another thin strip border, then another thin strip border here. And I think rather than making just the plain borders for this, I'm gonna do um, just another stripe of the orange. I'm not gonna add a border under this because I like that um, aquamarine showing through. But I am gonna add just a strip of the orange and that's a three quarter inch border. So I'll pull my trimmer back over. I could do it again with the scallop, but I just think I want the top border um, more straight. Hmm, do I wanna use orange or do I want to use my floral again? Y'all know what I say, it's paper. We'll try it both ways and see what we like best. So 
there's the orange ones. And what I'm thinking is I will stick with the orange strictly because my pictures, um, I don't want a border here to compete with my pictures. And I think this orange one is a nice look. If I did the floral, that might be too much and it may overpower my pictures just a little bit. So let's stick with the orange. Almost looks like an animal print, but it's really little flowers, I think. Just why do you see the pictures? They, they were just incredible. He did such a good job and it was so nice of him to come and do that for us. Now this border, typically I would pull out my repositionable tape and the little mat, but this border is wide enough in the middle that I could put my regular tape down through it. So I just dotted it in a few places and added it on. I thought when I looked at this page, it looked pretty um, daunting, a little bit more time consuming than it actually is. Those are the fun pages to me when, when the visual appeal is really great, but the time investment is really small. And I felt like this was one of those. All right, so there's the two page layout. Now let's pull our pictures and see what we've got to play with. All right, so let me show you the pictures and see what you think. Now one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is my pictures are not printed on the full four by six. That's because I printed these on my little Epson PM400 printer, my um, home personal printer, because I wanted some different sizing. And let me refer back to our sketch real quick, because our sketch shows two four by six pictures here, two four by sixes here with a couple of three and a half by three and a halfs over here. Um, you know me, I'm not gonna do it exactly like that. But I am thinking that I like the contrast with this and this lighter color behind this. So that one is very appealing to me. This is a really pretty picture. I like the colors there. Now I don't necessarily love it when my pictures touch against each other when they don't match well. So that may change. I was also looking at this. That's a nice background there, and I could just cut off a touch and have a space in between, and that may be the way I go. But over here, I almost think I would like to cut um, maybe two or three down here to get them all in, and I am being mindful of the fact that I need some three and a halfs over here. These pictures are all just so beautiful. It's, um, it's really hard to choose. Look how pretty these are. This guy did such a great job. Let me do just a little trimming, see where I can end up, because I think the way I printed this was about a three and a half anyway. I need to go just to touch off the edge of that. That's the good thing about a home printer, and typically I don't print tons of my photos at home. I just print something I might forget or something I wanna resize but I have already done several pages from this vacation, and one of the things I'm loving about it is the fact that I can print them my own size to make them fit these sketches. Not something I typically spend a lot of time doing, but for this particular trip, it's working well for me so far. Now that's a four inch side to side, and that's actually um, a really good width for that. So I may just do all of those as a four inch width and we'll see what kind of height we can get on them. Well, there's a three and a half and these I'm doing for this section over here with a couple of the birds. So let's cut this one down to make it a four inch width. And when I do that, I'm just kind of looking at my space from here to here and I'm trying to center what I'm trying to focus on in between those lines visually when I'm doing that. I know a lot of people will just cut a little, cut a little and keep going back and forth, but if you can kind of center it visually, it really helps you out a lot. We'll try that as a four by four right now, but we may need to shave a little off so we have some space between. And I think because I have another bird, I will probably just keep that flower in the middle there. And I'm going pretty close in on his beak because I don't really want to cut off more of him than I have to. 
and I will cut some off the top here. That gives me a little wiggle room, and then I can cut a little bit off of this one as well. And that's gonna give me space between my photos, which is exactly what I wanted. And I was looking to see if I had actually another photo to add because, you know, I don't typically do pages with just two pictures, but I really don't have anything else that I wanted on these pages. So I'm gonna leave this one as a two picture, but I did get my five over there. So y'all know how I am. That makes me feel really good. All right, so let's look at that layout. I am going to mat these two particularly. The rest I'm really happy with, but I do want these two matted just to help draw them off of that pattern a little bit. And I'm using one of my white cover sheets from one of my old paper packs to do that. And I'm gonna go a little bit thicker than I normally would. Sometimes my mats are teeny tiny, but I wanna be sure that these pictures show up well on those background papers I've got going. We'll pull our bigger trimmer for that. Ooh, look how crooked that looks. I don't know if I didn't have my paper in straight or I just made a mess or both. We'll fix it. I just wish I could convey to y'all how excited I was about the new trimmer coming out. There are so many features of it, and you better be sure I'll do a whole video on that when I get it, because I was just thrilled to death. And some of us have kind of been waiting on that for a while. We, we felt like it was coming. We had heard rumors and discussions about it, so um, to see it actually in person was so very exciting. And to know that the price point is very good. That was that was pretty exciting as well. Okay, those are about the same width, but something just isn't quite straight. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so let's stick these pictures down real quick. And then I'm going to look at some embellishments to go along with this. Just because I had a few embellishments left over from Tropic Time as well. And I want to see if they're going to work with these pictures. And I know that the sketch um, originally also showed some journaling. And it showed it on this particular um, banner. So I will probably go back and do some journaling about this. I don't necessarily have a lot to say about the flowers and the birds and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I could say something about being in paradise and how beautiful it was and the fact that we had our own little photographer to go around and take pictures, which was so fun. I'm gonna switch these two. And I'm doing that just because I've got this big bird looking that way here. And I don't want them competing. They kind of, they're kind of along the same look and I just didn't want the two big white birds side by side. And I am gonna pull out my ruler real quick to make sure as I'm lining these up, I'm getting them straight up and down, side to side, getting the same width on them. I don't have the same width in between as I do top and bottom, but it's pretty close. Oh, I love this page. And I think you're seeing that it was pretty quick. Now let's grab embellishments and see what we've got to work with. I have this tropical paradise which would be a great title for this. And I could put it right up there. I'm gonna stick that down to my table just a second. There's this bird that's pretty. Let's see what I've got left in this embellishment pack. There's some flowers, that might be good. I like these um, sparkly embellishments, so we may want to use something in that. Let's see what else. Oh, those leaves are pretty. That might be pretty over here where I'm going to journal. I don't really want these lighter colored embellishments, but I am liking these little flowers. Some leaves might be good. 
think I'll go with those darker leaves. So I don't have any birds in this embellishment. Obviously, I've already used them. I'll leave that out just in case. All right, so we've got a few flowers, a couple of words. I am gonna use that bird, I think. So let's pull him off and let's see where we're gonna put these babies. So a part of me likes these leaves and then a part of me is just not wild about them. Strung together like that. I think I may do something more with these. And I don't want my orange competing up there, but I could put this bird here and then add a couple of little orange flowers down here with him and maybe even throw in a white. So we're getting rid of those leaves. Let me get my foam squares. I'm just gonna pop all of this. Now this is an embellishment, so it doesn't need a lot of foam squares. And I'm gonna make this leaf go down because it's a bigger, heavier leaf. The embellishments in this pack were really pretty. They've got a little shimmer to them. Not really, you know, glittery or anything, but just a nice shimmer. And I love the colors of them. I'm gonna put a big one on this sticker to keep most of the sticker off the page. And I'm gonna slide him right in here. It's kind of funny because his head plumage kind of looks like that. I didn't really intend that, but it works. And then I'm gonna stick these right in there with it too. Now I'm still gonna have plenty of room to journal down here. So that's not a problem. The um, original sketch showed a title here with embellishments over here, but for whatever reason, I did it my way. And I'm gonna put that, and then I'm gonna add these little white flowers in as well because they will show up against all of this and really make that pop. One more, and then we'll add our title for Tropical Paradise. Pull that orange out a little if I can do it without tearing it up. So I really want that orange to be a little more bold. Oh, y'all, I think that is so pretty. Now for my sticker words, I'm not gonna pop them. I'm just gonna add them right over here. I might have to check before I stick that down hard and make sure it's all gonna fit. Oh, I think that's even okay down on the picture some. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Don't you love it when it works? Okay, so we've got our tropical paradise there. Let's just add a little bit of bling. Ooh, while I'm looking over there, I was glancing over at my embellishments, I'm seeing these. How fun would those be to add in here? Just to give us a little more orangey. We've got a couple of little flowers. Don't necessarily love that, so we'll not put that in. But I think I'll scoop this one down more onto that word. If anybody ever asks me why I do it the way I do, I couldn't even tell them. It just happens. And I'm gonna put that bling right in the middle of that. I'm using the little bitty ones, kind of the aquamarine color. It picks up the color right underneath. And what about an orange one for the eye in Tropical? And maybe one more for the eye in Paradise. And I could go back and add them over here as well. I think I'm just gonna add them into my white flowers. I've already got this popped, so this is gonna be a pretty thick page anyway. But there we go, y'all. That two-pager is done. And that was using the virtual sketch, the virtual crop sketch number four from the April 2024 virtual crop. So thanks to um, the girl, I forgot your name, I'm so sorry. The girl on Facebook who asked me if I was gonna do a, vir a video about this because you really inspired me to get another two pages done, and I really love the look. I hope you find this sketch really easy and that you'll give it a shot, 
and we'll be back in our sketchbook really soon. Until then, happy scrapping!